let's talk about how to define interfaces to describe the object properties. First of all, you must know what is interface and what is class. A class is a blueprint which we can create objects that share the same configuration properties and methods. Like you can class is something like a blueprint. You can instantiate or create some objects from the class. What about interface? It's a group of related properties and methods that describe an object, but neither provides the implementation nor instanti instantiation for them. Interface does not have implementation. It's like a code contract. You will define some properties. If any class implements the interface, this class must need to override or write the implementation for all the methods. Here we have the interface describing the object properties. I created the pair interface. It can accept two, two parameter, two type parameters, type T and U. You can write any name. Like I defined this type. You can treat as the TypeScript type, which is pair. Let's say whenever I will create a new object, I can use at the type. Let's say I need to create a new person object. It should have the first name and the last name, or you can say that. Let's say the type of the person object is pair. You, if you will not provide this, you will get the warning message. You can see that the first name, let's say string and the last name, I'm also going to use the string. You also need to provide the second name. You can get the error. It is not first name, it's the first. So I'm gonna delete the first name to first. Now you can lock the person. We are gonna use TypeScript in the loopback. You will see this type of syntax. That's why I'm teaching you the fundamentals of generics, interfaces and classes and decorators. Because when I will read the source code in Lowback, you will find this type of syntax. There are a lot of interfaces and decorators. The first name is Jane and the second name is Malik. You can also log the P. Cool. It looks good. I have another example. Let's say we have interface command. I'm using multiple type parameters. You can also define the function here. Let's say this is the command data type. Like whenever I'm going to create a new object. I must need to specify the data type. The first is string or you can use capital or the small. The ID, you can provide some random ID or I'm gonna choose one. Actually, I need to provide the ID in string. So maybe it should be string and it is going to return the number. So that's why the return type of the run function is R. So the number is return type that's why i use the number so i need to return this one so you can call the method here i'm gonna run the project now you will see the id and the three value from this run function like this is the type so you can instantiate the object by defining this type 